welcome to this week's six minute live core and glute workout from wherever you're joining in, uh, joining in on us in the world. A big welcome and I hope you are all okay. We have three exercises this morning, so just watch why I quickly go over the modifications for each level. We are going to start off with Superman lifts, so if you're quite heavily pregnant, over 25 weeks and then over 30 weeks, get close to your couch and you're going to do the exercise, same leg, same arm for 30 seconds here on the couch. Now this is also the option if you have just had your baby less than 12 weeks postpartum and have only just started your basic activations. Everybody else, functional diastasis, you can still do this up to around about 20, 20, 25 week pregnancy mark. We are on the floor for your lifts, okay? If you want to advance it, you can go up onto a full plank. Second exercise is our downward dog taps. Now this is pregnancy basic option. You go from your knees, take your right hand to your left ankle and then come down. So you stretch across the advanced functional. Let me show you where we are. You're starting in the tap, okay, and you stretch across and come back to a plank rather than going onto your knees for the break. The last exercise, we have got pregnancy slides. Just had your baby working through your core strength. Functional, heel drops, advanced. All right, so many options for all of the exercises. Are you all ready? <laughs> I've already done two live workouts this morning, so I'm a little bit jaded. Okay, everybody, please make sure you like and share. Give me a big thumbs up so everybody on Facebook can see it and it will get out to more people. We need more and more of you now to like the post just for it to see, you know, get out to more than a couple of thousand people. All right, so please, if you can, just let me a like, comment that you've done the workout and please share it. And welcome to do this exercise every day. Okay, guys, we're gonna start the first minute wherever you want to be for your Superman option. Let's get ready. Let's take a nice connecting breath. I need to feel my pelvic floor. Deep breath in, exhale, connect pelvic floor transverse, can we feel them? Yeah. And again, deep breath in, connect. Let's get ready. Let's do this, six minutes, let's go. Right to left knee and extend up. Okay, now if you turn, to keep your thumb turned up because it's better placement for your shoulder. Okay, now also quickly just look down and check your hips are staying level and still. Good. Now it's here where we're exhaling. So as we stretch out, okay, good. Change sides. Here, exhale. Breathe in, exhale, stretch. Now hips level, everybody. Check that. Good. Check it. Excellent, everyone. The next exercise is your dog taps and you're choosing either option. Good, we've got about 10 seconds to go. So you're either gonna set yourself up in the downward dog or stay on your knees and switch across to your ankle. Ready, five seconds. Good, ready, up, and stay with me. So it's plank and stretch. Plank, let me get in the right positions. <laughs> That's hard for the camera. Good, stretch and plank. Stretch back and plank, good. So nice and controlled in the plank and reach across. Reach as far as you can and if you can, if you're quite flexible through your hamstrings, you'll be able to push your heels back as you stretch. Now if you need that break, come down onto your knees on each one. That's great pregnancy option. And again, go at the speed you're comfortable with. Stretch it out, excellent. So it's either a plank or on your knees. Good, everybody, keep stretching. Coming up to the third exercise. Ready, lie on your backs, turn it round. Away you go, 
for whichever option you want to do. I'm going to go heel drops. So just concentrate on that connection. All right, we don't want to see any loss of control. Exhale there. Okay, zip up your pelvic floor and drop down. Just get your hips right if you're not quite right. You'll know you don't want to feel twisted. Good. If you want to advance it, kick out. If you want to take it down, feet on the floor and slide. It's completely up to you, but each level and modification you want to check, you're connecting correctly not flooring your ribs okay we're going to get ready in five seconds we're going to go four three two roll over right hand left knee everybody go good thumb turned up keep your hips parallel to the ground excellent everybody if it's feeling too hard even in this take your knee back down to the floor you don't need to keep it up good any of you who's challenging and going into the full plank at the moment remember those of you who just had your baby you're in the support position three change sides everybody now you'll probably find one side's harder this is my challenge inside it's often the side whichever side that glute might need as weak so we've got a left glute mead so you've got to concentrate on not dropping your hip out connect Elbows slightly bent. You've got about five seconds left. Good. Now we're gonna do those awesome core planks. Ready, go. Stretch and plank. Good, don't lose it. And think about the position of your spine as you come forward into the plank or you rest into that knee position. Good. Strong through your shoulders, everybody. Really strong. Don't be floppy. You're setting yourself each time. Now, again, if you want to, stretch those heels down there. Good. Woo! Yes. Stretch. Excellent. Stretch it there. Really stretch and touch as much as you can. And come on, everybody, work for it. Stretch and come forward. This should feel so good. Excellent. Stretch. Good. Five seconds. Keep it going, everybody. Come on. And turn over. Oh my gosh, we're on the last exercise already. This gone so quick. Drops. Good. Or push outs. Let me go this way. Keep it going, everybody. You know what you're doing. Drop down. Control. Think about your weakest muscle, your weakest link. Is it your pelvic floor? Is it your transverse? Do you concentrate on the one that's your weakest? I concentrate on my pelvic floor. Does my transverse fire up automatically? So if I know I've got my pelvic floor on, my brain's already sending that signal to switch my transverse on. 10 seconds to go. Now, if you want to, okay, you can repeat the set for a nine minute workout. But we are done. Roll your knees in. Give them a little hug. Oh my gosh, well done team. Six minute, fast, safe, effective workout. Options for everybody. Don't forget to like and comment. Please share. And remember everybody, we've got Two more events left in the lockdown series. We've got the first six weeks postpartum tomorrow, exercise and wellness. Then on Monday, we're discussing diastasis and all about closure. What's the gap? What, what is a gap um, postnatal? So we're going to really go into that quite deep on Monday. So please join me for those. Also remember, use the coupon code at the moment, lockdown, for a 30% discount on all our programs. Good morning, Steph. Okay, see you all soon, everybody. Thanks for joining in. Bye, everybody.